Houston, we have a problem. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Ocular Max Volatus. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some lovely artwork there. Oh, Volatus, all built in. Volatus, space warrior. Up top, we have Volatus. On the bottom, words, things, warning. Don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. On the side of the box, we have almost the whole family photo there. Isn't that lovely? On this side, we have a close-up shot of Volatus. On the back, obligatory product shots. He's all like, Transiformi! And we have a nice little bio if you want to read it, and a very G1-y tech spec. And they do give you a tech spec decoder. As you can see, his stats, that's pretty cool. And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card, with another nice image there of Volatus. And on the back, you have the bio again. You have tech specs again. If that interests you, hooray for cards. And moving right along here, we have a Volatus, and this is the next component of Ocular Max's Assaultus. They are Bruticus, and this is their take on Blastoff. So here he is in his space shuttle mode, and looks quite good in my opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see the uh, cockpit section there, down with a nice metallic, looks like a metallic pink. They got some browns, some purples. All kinds of multicolored, but hey, that's blast off. But looks quite, quite nice. Let's go down the body here. Tail fin, got the quadruple thrusters there in the back. You do have some nice rolling landing gear, so you can roll as flying things should. Hooray for rolling flying things. And for comparison, uh, here it is with the unique toys. Blast off. And here he is with G1 Blast Off because he's precious! Oh, so precious. And here he is with the Masterpiece Seeker Mold. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with his Combaticon Brethren. So we can see how the team is shaping up. Can I get them all in the shots? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, good enough. But now we have our team so far, and they look pretty good together. So there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, one of them is currently stored inside the shuttle mode, and the other one is for robot mode. So we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, but yeah, you can also, if you want to, obviously flip in the landing gears and just fold right in like so. Makes them nice and streamlined, and you can bloosh. Okay, he's not he's not bloosh compatible, but you can you know imagine it. You can use your use your bloosh-ination and picture the blooshing happening. Hey, as always, it's yours. Do what you want. It ain't none of my business. It ain't none of my business at all. But but yeah, that is basically it for the shuttle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> oh, wow. That's the best spin I've ever gotten on a figure. That's smooth. Look at that. That's like, that's like butter. That's like butter. I'm sorry. I'm just amazed by that. Anyway, so as always, we're going to go into combined mode first and then go into robot mode. So to get them into combined mode, uh, you do want to flip this in. You want to take this section here, just pop this up, and it's also tabbed into the side here. So just gonna pull that out and rotate it up like that, and then just swing that over. There's a tab right here, which will plug in like so. The same thing on your side, just pop that up and then pull that out and rotate it up. And just bring that around and plug it in, plug it in. And there we go. So now you want to kind of use this section here to help you open up these side panels. So just pop that open and then you can pop open these top panels. And in here is where his weapon is stored. You can see it just folded up in there. You do want to pop this out for now. So 
just take that out, put that off to the side, on so we can continue. So you want to undo these panels here. So you can then open this up. And this is all just to free up his legs because we have to do some work on this back section here. So once we've done that, we can split all this down the middle and now we can get to work. So, um, what are we gonna do first? Actually, what we'll do first is we will, what are we gonna do? We're gonna open this up first, like so. You wanna bring this thruster down and this will compress in like so. And once you've done that, you can take this thruster, this is on tabs, comes down, you open this up like that, and then bring this panel down. There's another panel that flips out right there. And then you wanna take this half of the fist, just kind of rotate it around, gotta get it unclipped, and then just flip it out. This will then slide, oops, you wanna move this a little bit out of the way here. Gives you clearance. So you wanna swing this up and then swing this panel right there to close up the gap. And you want to take the tail fin here, it's on a double hinge right here, so you want to untab it and just pull it out like so. Close all this up, and that will snap into place. Then you just want to fold this down, swing all this in like so, and then just collapse in that double hinge, and that sits there like that. Once you've done that, you want to take this section here and just crack it in half, like so. You want to take this panel here, open it up, and this section here with the landing gear, you want to fold that back, bring that in, fold that over it, and then snap this back together. You can bring this back down, and then you want to bring the wing, bring this up in this little filler piece here, just flip that up. Then you want to rotate this section around, and this will tab in right there like that and there you have a side all done second math is guess what just like the fast so open that up bring that down collapse this in and these were really tight when i first took these out of the box luckily they've loosened up after transforming them a bunch of times so open that up bring that down flip that open and then flip out this half of the fist Swing all it. Oh, I wish we had to bring this a little bit down for clearance. Bring all this around. This is where we start to sing. And bring it around. Right there. And then just bring that out. Snap it in. Snap it in. It snapped in. Swing this down. Bring it around. Collapse it in. Now it's collapsed. Okay. <clears throat> Close that up. <laughs> you know, I just go where the music takes me. You know, that's just... That's just what happens sometimes. It's just what happens. This is me. Sorry, but I'm not gonna apologize for being me. <laughs> sorry, but not sorry. Uh, oh, close that up, bring that down. Wing, little filler panel, rotates. Dab that in, and there we go. So now we have that done. We can now bring the two halves back together and clip that all in. Tab in all that, tab in all that, and then we can close these sections back up. And oops, you wanna make sure this little section here doesn't fold in on you. You want that out. And, oh, because that panel was in my way. There we go, close that up. And you can tab these back in. Boom! Oh, you wanna come back here. And here's your little combiner peg. It just snaps into place, and then we just rotate it right here, like so. Get everything snapped together all good like, and then we can just rotate the fists, open up the fingers, and then his thumb is just tucked right into his palm. So you just bring that out, and unfold his thumb. And there you go, there you have Blast Off in his arm mode. And it's a very clever transformation, and I love how the hand comes together and it still has rotation. Not a whole lot of rotation, that's as far up as you're going to get, not as far down as you're going to get, but considering how that works, it's so cool that you get 
wrist articulation out of it. Yeah, just very, very clever engineering there. Very cool. So there you have Rudicus's arm mode. A so there you have that. Now, as far as his little gun goes, you can still store this in the uh, combined mode. It just stores right where it did in uh, shuttle mode. And that just pegs right in there. There you go. You can have everything stored. So there you go. Everything's in a nice, neat little package. Hey! So there you have that. Now let's get down to transformation again, shall we? <laughs> The arm spins like like a dream. That's amazing. This is the most spinnable figure I think I've ever had in my life. Anyway, hey! All right, so let's get down to it here. So we just want to fold up his thumb, bring it down. It's just gonna tuck right in there. And then you just fold the fingers right over top of it like so. Rotate it down. We need to take this gun back out. Put that off to the side. Just kind of get everything straightened out. And we'll flip this back in. We'll do that now. Rotate this around so everything is oriented as it was before. And now we can... Actually, no. Let's commence before... We'll commence after we do this. So untab these. And bring these out. And then we can fold in this little panel here. And then just bring this down just a bit. And fold that in and bring that down a bit. There we go. So we guys, skirts all ready to go. So now we can split all of this. Split. And we can finish up his legs here. So it's not too much we have to do to get his legs transformed. Just undo this. And then uh, we want to bring this down to get it out of the way. Uh, we need to get this tail fin up, so again, just kind of angle that up on a double hinge. Just bring it up, get it out of the way, and we can open all of this. Then just swing that down, swing this down, and then take the fist, just get it snapped back into place, like so. Pull that panel back in, close that up. Then we can close all this back up, and then this will swing around. And there's a tab right there that will go into a slot right there. So, line that up, and that will tab in like so. We can bring that back down, fold this around, and then just bring that down like so. That makes his toe. And then we just tab that back in. And there you have his leg all done. Second bus. Guess what? Just like the first. You know it. You know it. So just bring this little bit down. Open. 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 Oh, no, we can't open that yet because we haven't done this yet. Bring that around. Whoop, there we go. Now we can open. Open. Pull it back up. Down. And get all that back into place. Bring that up. Close that up. Swing this around. Plug it in, plug it in. Right there to the side. Close that back up. Close that up, swing that around to make it a little toesy, bring that down, and they have the legs all done. So in shuttle mode, you can see the hips are very close together. You just want to bring them out on that hinge there like that, and then we can just bring all of this down, and bring all that down, and there we go. So we have the lower body all done. So now moving on to the upper body. So now we want to just untag these little side bits and just bring them out like so. We want to get in here, just kind of get in the seam here and untab all of this and bring that down. Uh, you also want to just kind of angle this down a little bit so you can get in here and pull this section out and then just bring these little bits around like so. And you're going to split all of this and all this will just swing back like that. So you wanna bring this down and rotate it and that'll kind of undo this panel here which you need to kind of flip all the way out for this move. So you just wanna rotate this all the way around then close it back up. So the purple panel here, here just comes down to fill in that little gap. And you just bring that down like so. 
Now we come back here, these little bits, you just fold in and then these sections here fold down over that. And then you just bring this little panel up, bring this down, gives them the little faux tail fin on the back. I think that's cool. <laughs> Neat little trick there. So we're at the home stretch. So now we just need to get his arms done. So just rotate at the shoulder. You want to come here to the nose and just pull this back. You want to rotate this halfway so you can rotate the fist out and then rotate it back around like that. Close it back up. And then this just extends like so. Then you want to rotate the forearm down like that and then just grab this whole thing here and rotate at the bicep. And they have everything oriented properly and they have an arm all done. Second vest, guess what? You know what, you, you know, you, you know. Down, rotates, rotates, swing, swing. Open that up, rotate that, rotate that, bring the arm down, cat hair as usual not included, <laughs> get out of here. And I think we're done, are we done? Yes, we're done, Woo! we are done. And there you have Volatus, aka Blast Off, in his robot mode. And he's a good looking G1E blast off. I think they did a really good job with this figure. I think they've done a good job with this whole with this whole set personally. I'm really digging this, really digging this set. But that's getting close here so we can take a look not at his triple nipples, but at that noggin. You can see you got some nice purple there for the eyes. The brown going on there. Again, the purple chest, the triple nipples. <laughs> and one thing that bugs me is the landing gear. Just kind of, you know, kind of throws things off there with the arms. But, oh, well, it is what it is. That's just a minor little nitpick. But, all in all, pretty good looking design. And, you know, hey, it looks like Blast Off. Little thruster toes. And everything does come together pretty cleanly. He's got some chunky, you know, some, some, some chunky lower legs going on there. But, all in all. It's a very clean transformation. As always, cat hair not included. Get out of here. Get out of it. All of it. All of it. Get away. But, yeah, he looks quite, quite good. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. So you have your wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down. Head can do a full 360. Uh, arms can rotate a full 360, can move in and out. You have bicep rotation. It's quite snug on mine. You do have a, uh, a double jointed elbow, so you have good range of movement there. You do have, you know, forearm rotation. It only goes one way, but hey, if you need it to move, it moves. Uh, you do have wrist rotation. You have poseable hands. The thumb is on a ball joint at the base, and then each finger is just on a hinge at the base. Um, he does have waist rotation. He has an ab crunch. So you got some crunchage going on there. And of course these panels can move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. The legs can move forward, that far, back, about that far. But if we you know, straighten out this panel here, and like, oh, we can get a little further. Outward movement, you can do the full splits. You do have thigh rotation. Um, he does have a double jointed knee. So if you use both joints, the ratcheted and the, uh, the friction hinged one, you can, you know, you can get a pretty deep knee bend, a bit over 90 degrees. So not too bad there. And uh, the feet don't really do much. You can move his toe down if you needed to, but that's pretty much all you're getting out of his feet. So there you have that. And of course we can give him his weapon. Well, we can just bring the barrel down, slip out the handle, and there you have his little pistol. And we can just plug that right into his hand. You can see there's just like a slot there in the palm, a little tab right there in the back of the handle. That just sits right in there. And just close his hand up and he holds that pretty securely. There you go. You can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And there you have that. 
And the last thing to show off is an alternate head, and the only difference between these two heads is just where the, uh, where the purple paint is. Um, now this head, I believe, is a more cartoon accurate head, because in the cartoon, um, his eyes here were the same color as the rest of his face, and then just this little part of his forehead was painted purple. So I don't know if this was supposed to be his eye, or what? I don't know how that was supposed to work, but I think this is the more cartoon accurate head. But that's literally the only difference is just where that purple paint is. So, hey, you can basically have whichever one you want going on there. And I dropped it. And you just uh, unscrew the screw there in the back of the head to loosen it up. So you can pop it off, pop a new one on. That's all there is to it. But yeah, there you have an alternate head. Hey, you have the option. And as always, options are good. So there you have that. And now for John Barrasson. Here he is with the unique toys. Blast off. And with G1 Blast off because he's precious. Oh, so precious. Here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. With Masterpiece Screamer. With Masterpiece Megs. And now let's bring in the other Combaticon boys here. See how the team is shaping up. And I think they're looking quite, quite good together. So there you go. So there you have Volatus. And uh, yeah, another nicely done figure in this line of Combaticons from Ocular Max of so the shuttle mode. Looks good. The robot mode looks good as well. Um, the transformation is pretty smooth. It's enjoyable. Um, love the little clever tricks they did with the engineering to make the all-in-one gimmick work, just to make the transformation work in general. Just some really good engineering going on here. So, yeah, all in all, a uh, very well done figure, and I am quite pleased. I am definitely liking this set very much. So, yeah, four down, one to go. So, there you go. Go now if you would like this or any of Ocular Max's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Assaultus playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Ocular Max of Volatus, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face. Ah, blast off! Finally, the next of my Combaticons is online! Ah, uh, yes, yes, wonderful. Glad to be here. But, um, I, I, I just wanted to know, are, are we going to be going outside? Because I really don't want to be seen by anyone I know in this get-up. What? What's wrong with it? Oh, oh n nothing. It's, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely. Um, but it does seem a bit, uh, primitive. Oh, really? Are you saying that I'm primitive, then? No, 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 of course not. I, uh... I'm just saying, uh, robots of our caliber should, uh, have something a bit more advanced. And what exactly would you suggest, then? No, oh, I, I don't know, but anything better than this and anything better than you. I can't help but feel slightly insulted. Yeah, you should go with that feeling. You know I created you, and I can destroy you! Oh, who am I kidding? They're my only friends. Not your friends.